What's good, everybody? I know a lot of people uh, saw on the internet that we were going to be getting uh, the Black Cat 3s, and I know a lot of people are going crazy because they saw the Black Cat 4s, they seen that it's a $1,000 shoe now, but unfortunately, we will not be getting them in 2024. However, that's not um, completely bad. We do actually have some good news because they're actually going to be replaced with uh, the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement Reimagined. And honestly, at first, I wasn't really a big fan of the Reimagined series. Um, I just thought, like, I was like, man, it's okay. Because you, you gotta really think about it. When it first came out, Jordan Brand was already doing, like, their remakes of, like, earlier retro models. So it was like a Reimagined didn't really feel anything new. But however, um, they definitely have gone, like, they did Lost and Founds. Lost and Founds, uh, White Cement, and then recently, The Breads. So, they're three for three, honestly. I feel like each one was done very, uh, like, a really good job. I, honestly, I think the Lost and Founds were the... Overall, I feel like the Lost and Founds were the best ones. Um, just because it had a lot of details. But every shoe was, was executed perfectly. Now, so, we'll be getting those, but we'll also be getting them... Uh, the Air Jordan 3 Black Cats in 2025, not in 2024. So usually uh, when we have like certain stuff on like uh, like a calendar date, it's usually called like a placeholder date and everything is just subject to change. So these might have been originally uh, announced to release in 2024, but we are, it's already confirmed that we're going to be getting the reimagined Black Cement 3s, which I think is going to be a good shoe. Um, and we're still getting this. We're just going to have to wait a little bit longer. But there's also some stuff that I want to talk about after the article about even just uh, able to cop the Black Cat 3s because I think there's a lot of uh, wrong speculation going around that the uh, like people are just such dire need to want the Black Cats because they see the Black Cat 4s is just an $1,000 shoe. But in reality, the Black Cats came out in what, 2019? Um, I think right before COVID, it was for that 2019 All-Star Weekend in uh, Chicago. And this was back at a time where four sat on the shelves one sat on the shelves you could literally go to the mall and you would have a selection of around four to five very good shoes you know what i'm saying in today's age i wouldn't even you know what i'm saying i mean obviously the jordan ones because it's oversaturated and stuff like that but you get the point like it'll, it'll be very good shoes not just like bricks or something that's you know what I'm saying, man, like that's sitting for a reason though. No, these are actually good shoes. However, reselling wasn't at an all-time high. I feel like it kind of hit uh, really bad during COVID because uh, a lot of people were, uh, TikTok became a real good thing and a lot of people were hopping on trend, trends. Uh, people didn't really have a mind of their own. I feel like everybody was just like just glued to TikTok because we had no choice. It was prime COVID. We were stuck in the house, you know, uh, we're on TikTok watching all the new TikTok dances. We've got all the people trying to be innovative um, and making online content. And that came with people, new people getting famous, uh, new people becoming influencers. And a lot of influence was spread around. And one of the main things that got influenced was sneakers. And so certain shoes just got incredible hype. And one of them was the Black Cat 4s, which made them skyrocket. But before all that, they were literally sitting. Like, I literally have a video of uh, my little brother in the mall picking up the Black Cat 4s on the shelves and like, bro, should I cop? Da da da. Like, like you had time to think. You know what I mean? So, we'll talk about all that uh, after I read the article because I'm curious to see what they have to say on top of what I just said. Among the most anticipated rumors in the sneaker world regarding Jordan Brand was the re-release of the Air Jordan 3 Retro Black Cat in 2024. And again, these had already came out. Um, but again, we'll talk about that later because I also want to say something about uh, threes. This classic silhouette first hit the shelves in 2007. So, it, yeah, it's been a long time. And captivated sneakerheads with this sleek all-black design. Despite the swirling rumors and high hopes within the community, we received confirmation that the Air Jordan 3 Black Hat will not return in the holiday season of 2024, nor is it currently scheduled to be released. Now, they did confirm that um, it's going to be released in 2025. Now, again, it's, it's so far out that it is possible that it's subject to change, but it's, it's going to come out in 2025. Y'all can, can, you know what I'm saying, save this video if y'all won't tag, uh, what's pin it, whatever, leave a comment, whatever, so you can come back to it. In 2025, we can come back to this video. I'm going to be right, man. Like I said, I got, I'm going to get y'all right with the info. 
Uh, this news surprises many who are eagerly waiting the chance to get their hands on this iconic pair once again. The Black Cat colorway, known for its stealthy all-black aesthetic, embodies the essence of black Michael Jordan's Black Cat nickname, a nod to his quick, agile, and stealthy movements on the basketball court. Now, actually, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know anybody uh, called him that, but the more you know. However, all is not lost for fans of the Air Jordan 3 silhouette. This holiday season 2024 20, will see a notable release from the Jordan 3 lineup, but with a twist, a new off nor colorway is set to launch. Offering a fresh take of the classic design, we'll also get a reimagined take on the Jordan 3 black cement alongside this pair. Okay, so we're getting we're getting two threes. Okay, I thought it was just the reimagined, but we're also getting this one. I'm going to click on this after we read this just to make an easy transition. Although the Black Cat Jordan 3 will not return in 2024, this announcement does not rule out the possibility of its future release. Although such a return is not currently scheduled, Jordan's brand has a history of surprising fans with unexpected drops and re-releases. Yeah, so it will be coming out in 2025. Now, we can go ahead and look at the off nowhere colorway. Uh, is that... Uh, is, it, is the Noor? I, I don't remember. Is that the one with like that kind of like fur like you know what I'm saying like furry material I don't know these these are okay too I guess um I don't know if it'll look exactly like this because what's the difference between this and uh hold on, let me see oh is it because the elephant print I think that's the only thing different from like, is the elephant print okay yeah so I mean you can't really complain um you're getting two similar colorways, so even if you miss one, um, like if you miss this one, then you can wait till 2025 and get the black hats. Now, I will say um, what I wanted to talk about about the threes and like how is how hard is it going to be to get them uh, for the black hats if you're if you're interested in that. Um, I think the Jordan threes haven't got their hype train yet, and honestly, I think. Um, I think it won't get it ever. Um, I, it was supposed. To, I feel like, respectfully, it should have happened like a little bit after the fours. But then after the fours, we got dunks, and the dunks kind of clashed with the fours because the dunks were just a really cheap, sh well, cheaper shoe. Because you know Jordan, uh, Jordan fours are retailing 200, 220 compared to dunks one 100, 120. Um, but now they're kind of milking the fours. And I feel like just right now it's just a bad time, and I feel like a lot of people are are transitioning out of Jordans right now. Even me myself, who you know, as a as a person when I first got into reselling, when I first like really started loving shoes um, back in high school, the only thing I really wanted to wear was Jordans. You know what I mean? Like Jordans was the do all be all, but now we got Asics, we got New Balance, we got all types of designers we got all these collabs like Jordan's really not hitting for anything right now because it's just repeated and oversaturated so with that being said um, I feel like there will be a lot of like fake hype and when I mean fake hype I feel like a lot of people are just gonna be copying um, just to say like oh yeah I got the black I got these black hats now uh, so y'all can't charge me a thousand dollars and instead I'm gonna charge y'all a thousand dollars but a lot of people are gonna like realize like one, it didn't happen overnight. Um, that actually took a long time for them to reach the price that they are now. Um, I don't think there's going to be another like trend sensation that's going to hype them up as, as much as Prime COVID and TikTok did. Um, so I think, I think initially it will be somewhat hard to get, but, I, but also I think that the resale value would not be that big. Um, if you just look at all the past threes, that have came out uh, as of recently. I'm trying to think. Uh, we just had the cream threes. I forgot what they're called. I literally did a video on them um, with the double jump man. I literally forgot. But but and that also alludes to my point. Like some of these threes are just not memorable. Um, not a lot of people are paying attention. So we just had those. Um, what was? What were the other threes? I know we have the Balvin threes, but I don't really want to count that because that's a collab. Um, but yeah, they're, all of the past threes just haven't been doing good, and I think that it will continue to be like that. And I don't think the Black Cats will kind of be a catalyst for them to get that hype or um, 
change that trend of, of low resale. So I think uh, if you go for them, I think you'll have a very good chance. And also um, with having this, the Nor colorway, and the reimagines coming out um, like back to back, I feel like a lot of people will kind of be like, okay, like if you really wanted the threes, you're more than likely getting if not one both of these so then by the time 2025 comes and they're like yo we got the black hat threes depending on on what month they release it in um i truly don't think that a lot of people will be fiending over it i think a lot of a lot of the hype will just be because of uh the black hat fours and people don't want to um just go through the same thing of basically missing out and having to pay a thousand dollar shoe for an all black shoe because honestly i don't think that the resale is um is worth it at all I and I didn't get mine for retail because I don't even think I was on like fours back then um, I actually got mine through a trade shout out to my homeboy I kind of finessed him I traded him what did I trade him I traded him I traded him these I forgot what they're called either my memory is bad or there's just too many shoes going out uh, they're on the 14 It was these. I I traded him. <laughs> Y'all probably like you, bro. You're a bad friend. But if my my computer will act right. I traded him these size 13 for these. Very good condition. Looks like he barely wore them. Um so yeah, I definitely won that trade. Oh, they came out in 2020. I swore they came out in 2019. Hmm. Wait, wait, when was the when was the Chicago All-Star game? Chicago All-Star. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, so the, the Chicago All-Star game was 2020. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Not 2019. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think, I think a lot of people are just afraid of like having, cause a lot of people aren't into sneakers, so they don't know the history of it. Cause a lot of people that are like just jumping into it or they'll see a good shoe online and they're like, Oh, I need it. And then they go to stock and they're like, why is this shoe a thousand dollars? Well, you weren't there when it first came out to realize that they were sitting on shelves. Um, you, you don't follow up with sneakers. So you don't realize that this was a, a, a increase in price over time. You know what I'm saying? And you also don't realize that the fact that you're the issue to it because you're being, you know, basically a sheep and just following these trends and wanting to be accepted in society and just going for stuff that the internet told you to. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But at the end of the day, I feel like there's going to be a handful of threes, one, two, and then the black hats. Um, and I feel like you'll definitely be able to get one out of the three without having to pay resale. So, um, let me know what y'all think about the Black Cat 3s. Let me know what y'all think about the Reimagined 3s. Let me know what y'all think about, um, just the whole concept of the Black Cats and its skyrocketing price in general. So, let me know all that down in the comments down below. And with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.